All right, hey everybody. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the links in the hair predation lab. Um, you should have an instruction sheet that looks something like this, which I'm gonna talk about. And these are really the rules of what you need to follow in doing this lab, which I'm gonna do for you. But you need to understand this so you understand what you're actually seeing when watching this lab. So the first thing is, is that, um, first of all, we have this habitat. This habitat is the taped off section in here. We're gonna have hairs. Here's are these little yellow sheets of paper and we are going to have links, which are these red sheets of paper. Now the hairs, when they're in this environment, they should always be spaced out as much as possible. To survive, the links have to have eat three of these hairs. If they don't eat three hairs, they die. Each time a lynx lands, and when we're lands, touching at any point a hair, that means this lynx has eaten this hair. It needs to land on three hairs in order to survive. If it's on more than three, it eats all of them and the hairs must be removed from the habitat. Whatever hair is left and not eaten by hair, that will double for the next generation. And if no lynx survive in a generation, then you'll always have one lynx migrate in for the next generation. So minimally, we'll always have one hair every single time, every single generation we go through this. Um, when more than one lynx is present, then I'm going to toss them separately into this habitat. Um, let's see what else. So to begin the simulation, we're going to start with three hairs and we're going to start with one lynx. Now, when we do this again, the hairs need to be as spaced out as much as possible in this, um, habitat. And we're going to drop the lynx into the habitat. Then we're going to list all of our stuff on the data table of the data sheet that you should also have, which is on Schoology. The data sheet looks like this. I'm going to write out and show you the first genera two generations that you're seeing, and then you should be able to fill in the rest as I go through this lab. I will always tell you what generation we are on as I go through this. So the first one, as we said, we're going to start with three hairs. So I put a three in the first generation for numbers of hairs and we're going to have one lynx that we start with so we start by just dropping this lynx into the habitat now when we do that we see this lynx touches touched this one hair that means that this lynx ate that hair this hair has to be removed from this habitat but did this lynx eat three hairs no it didn't it only touched one that means this lynx died and we have two hairs left in this habitat so let's start filling out the data table so when we're talking about this first generation we had one hair eaten so how many hairs are remaining there are two hairs that are remaining how many links starved there was one that one that didn't that only ate one um rabbit or hair that lynx starved because it didn't eat three that means that there is zero lynx remaining and we have zero lynx offspring now for the next generation generation two another rule that we had on there is that each every hair that uh, makes it through that generation it reproduces or it doubles so we will double the hair population and we will start now this time with four hairs. We'll have four hairs. We don't have any lynx left, so that means we need to migrate a lynx back into the habitat. So now we'll start with one lynx again. So I'll take my lynx and I drop that into the habitat. Oops, it kind of went out of the habitat. Drop that into the habitat and it's just not really going. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we can see that this ate two hairs. They need to be removed from the population, and so does the lynx. So how many hairs were eaten? There are two. How many hairs are remaining? There were two. How many lynx starved? There was one. How many lynx are remaining? Zero. How many lynx offspring? Zero. So now we're gonna double the number of lynx in this habitat or sorry hairs in this habitat again um, and then we're going to start with one link so we can even start generation three uh, we're going to start we ended with two hairs we double those to four and now we're going to have one links again 
drop the links into the habitat. Okay, so this time it ate one hair. So hairs eaten, there was one hair eaten. That means how many hairs are remaining? That link starved again. And now this time we need to start with six, six hairs because we're doubling that hair population. Again, we're gonna have a lynx migrate into the area. We drop that lynx. This time that lynx ate two hairs. Those hairs have to be removed. So two hairs were eaten. How many hairs are remaining? Then that lynx starved yet again. It's hard times for these lynx right now. Okay, so now we have four hairs remaining. That means we're gonna double the amount of hairs that we have, and we're gonna put four more hairs for a total of eight hairs. Sorry, we're on generation five now. Generation five is starting with eight hairs and migrating one lynx in again. So we drop that in. Okay, this time when we're looking at this, this hair eight, one, two, there's one under here, three, four, five hairs. All of those hairs have to be removed. So when we look at generation five, we have five hairs that were eaten. How many are remaining? Now, did the link starve? No, it didn't. So there were zero links starved in generation five, and then there's one links remaining that had an offspring. So when we start generation six, this is gonna be a little bit different in the fact that we're gonna double our hair population. So we're gonna start with six hairs in here. And um, now instead of just one lynx, this lynx had an offspring because that was a good, a good eatings for that lynx in that last uh, generation. So now for generation six, we're starting with two lynx. All right, so I'll drop these two links in. Oh, well, dropping them one at a time. Okay, so here's the thing. When we look at this, these links are touching, this link is touching two here. Sorry, say this. Uh, the first one that I dropped is touching these two, which would have taken away these two. And then this link was touching this one, which would take away this Hair. So how many hairs were eaten in generation six? There were three. How many are remaining? Now, did either lynx eat three hairs? No, they didn't. So that means there were two lynx that starved, zero remaining and zero offspring. Going on to generation seven, we have three hairs here. We are going to add three more hairs. And we're gonna have a lynx that is migrating into the area. So we're starting for generation seven, six hairs, one lynx. We're gonna drop this lynx into the habitat. And it looks like we'll say it ate those two because it's touching both of them. So this lynx ate two hairs. How many hairs are remaining? And since it's only eight two, that means that link starved, zero links remaining, zero offspring. Going to generation eight, we are gonna start with eight hairs. So generation eight, we're starting with eight hairs and we're gonna migrate in a lynx again. We're gonna drop that lynx into the habitat and that lynx ate only two hairs. So I have to take those hairs out. Generation eight, two hairs were eaten. How many hairs are remaining? That would be six. And that lynx starved again. So we have zero lynx remaining, zero offspring. Now this time we need to add six more hairs into this habitat. Uh, so one, Two, three, four, five, six. So starting in generation nine, we have 12 hairs. We're gonna migrate a lynx in again. We're gonna drop this lynx in this habitat. Oh, it's kind 
no, sorry, drop the links in the half tab. Okay, oof. Okay, this links just barely ate three. So that in generation nine, three hairs were eaten. Um, how many hairs are remaining? Uh, so then we would have nine hairs remaining. There were zero links that starved because it did get three rabbits. That means there's one links remaining. And it would have one lynx offspring. Going to generation 10, um, since we had nine, we need to add nine more hairs into this habitat. Running out of room for these hairs. And we have two lynx that we're starting with. So we're starting with uh, generation 10. We're starting with nine hairs two links, and we're going to drop these links into this habitat. Okay, okay, so all the hairs that they are touching, we need to take out, so we're going to take out all these hairs here. Not this one. Maybe it's easier to remove the ones that it didn't eat. Okay, so oh, the number of hairs that were eaten were one, two, three, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have. Oops. Oh shoot, I said that wrong too. Um, sorry. We aren't starting with nine hairs. We're starting with eighteen hairs in generation. In generation uh, ten. Sorry. So looking at generation ten, the number of hairs that are eaten were nine. So then hairs remaining were nine. And. Uh, Zero links starved because both of them had more than three. That means we had two links remaining, and now we're going to have two links offspring. So if we had nine hairs remaining, we're going to we're going to start with eighteen again because all those hairs doubled. Now this time, we're going to have. Uh, 18 generation 11 we'll have 18 hairs starting it and we're gonna have four links because they both reproduced I have to drop four links in this area so dropping four links drop that one again sorry better ah stay in the habitat it does not want to stay okay so all these ones that are touching, I don't know how that one went on top, but let's get all those out. Okay. Now we're kind of have to be careful with this. This one ate three hairs. So we got one lynx that made it. Looks like this lynx didn't eat any. So one lynx didn't eat any. This one got four, seven, and this one got three. So 10 hairs uh, got eaten, three lynx. Survive. So we have 10 hairs eaten. That means this is generation 11. That means we have eight hairs remaining. We had one lynx that starved, but we had three that remained. So now for leaf lynx offspring, we're going to have three more lynx and next generation, we're going to be up to six lynx. So if we had hairs remaining, we have eight. That means for generation 12, we are gonna be starting with 16 hairs. So 16 hairs in generation 12. And now this time we're gonna start with six links that we're gonna drop. All right, here we go. Links are all falling on top of each other. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, I don't know. These hairs maybe made it. These three hairs made it. Um, this lynx ate three, so it made it. This lynx didn't eat any, so that didn't make it. This lynx, oh, it ate those three. It made it. Made it. 
this lynx these are eaten it would have only eaten one hair so this one didn't make it this one would have made it and then this lynx would have made it okay so total number of hairs eaten we started with 16 uh, there's three hairs remaining so that means 13 hairs were eaten and on the three hairs that are remaining there were three lynx that starved but three lynx made it so now we're gonna have three lynx offspring generation 13 so we had three hairs remaining we're gonna start with six hairs um, then we're gonna put the number of links is that we're gonna we have six hairs and we have six links so let's get three more hairs on here all right dropping links one two three four five that didn't make it in the habitat close enough six okay now when we look at this um i'm gonna say this one hair made it this hair didn't get anything or sorry links this links didn't get anything this links didn't get anything this links really got one this links really got one and this links that might have made it it might have gotten three so we had one links remaining did all these get eaten all of these got eaten except the one hair that made it through. So in generation 13, we had five hairs eaten. That means we had one hair remaining and we had five links starve. And that means we had one links remaining, one links offspring going to generation 14. We're gonna start with two hairs and we're gonna have two links. So obviously when we go through this, both links are gonna star but we'll see if they eat any of these hairs fun okay so looking at generation 14 hairs eaten there's one hair eaten there's one hair remaining links starved we had two that means we have zero links remaining and zero links offspring going to generation 15 number of hairs that we're going to start with we're going to start with two again and we have to start with one lynx. Obviously, this lynx isn't going to make it again. Uh, enough. Okay, this lynx did not make it. Oh, I'm sorry. So, generation 15, we have two hairs. We had one lynx, zero hairs eaten, two hairs remaining, one lynx starved, uh, zero lynx remaining, zero lynx offspring. Generation 16, we're going to start with four hairs. And we're going to start with one lynx. We're going to drop the lynx. It ate one hair. So one hair was eaten. Uh, three hairs are remaining. One lynx was starved. Zero lynx remaining. Zero lynx offspring. Generation 17. So we're going to start with six hairs and one lynx that migrated into the area again Let's see how many it gets uh let's redrop it sorry okay it ate two hairs so two hairs were eaten that means that there are four hairs that are remaining one lynx was starved zero lynx remaining zero lynx offspring Generation 18, we are going to start with eight links. We are going to have one, sorry, eight hairs. I keep saying the wrong one. Um, you're going to have one lynx migrate into the area. Let's see how many it, hairs it eats. It ate three hairs. So three hairs were eaten. Um, that means we have five hairs remaining. We had zero lynx starved. We have one lynx remaining. And now we have one lynx offspring. So generation 19, we were going to start with 10 hairs. And we're going to have two lynx. So we have eight here. Now we're going to add two more. 
I'm gonna have two links, drop them both in the habitat. Okay, uh, let's see. So this hair really ate those ones. That means this hair only got two. So we had one link starved, one lynx made it with six hairs eaten. So generation 19, six hairs are eaten. Uh, we have four hairs remaining. We had one lynx starved, one lynx remaining. That means we have one lynx offspring. For our final generation, we're gonna start with um, eight hairs. And we are going to start with two links. I just don't want to drop it in the habitat. That one looks like it made it. Oh, and that one looks like it made it. All right. So then hair's eaten. We can see we have one, two, three, four, five. There's one there. Six hairs are eaten. That means we had two hairs remaining. Um, zero links starved two links remaining, and they would have had two offspring in the end. All right, so that should be the end of your data chart. The next thing that you have to do is on that instruction page, but you're going to graph your results. What you're going to do is you're going to have uh, generations on your x-axis, and then you're going to pop put the population um, of the number of hairs and the number of links that are really, you're just looking at those first three columns that you're gonna be graphing on there. So you're gonna have two lines on your line graph. Your x-axis is your generation and your y-axis is the number of hairs or links. Um, so you'd wanna have two different colors or show those lines in different ways and have a key on there. And then there are the analysis questions under the data table that you also need to answer. And then you are done with this lab. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.